Welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. Today we'll look at patterning up to a reference. This pattern option was first introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2015. It completely eliminates the old workarounds of having to use equations or design tables to accomplish getting just the right number of instances or the exact necessary spacing. But that's not all. As an added benefit, it stops the pattern from erroring when the base geometry changes. Take for example this side panel for an adjustable stand. When using the traditional method of spacing and in instances for the pattern, the pattern feature ends up with an error when the length of the panel is reduced to where the holes can no longer cut through the geometry. Frustrating. Before we fix this, we'll get a quick measurement to see what spacing is needed at the top of the panel. It's about 6 inches without holes. Now we simply edit the pattern feature and change to up to reference instead of the traditional method. Now we can specify the reference edge face or vertex that we want to pattern up to. Optionally, we enter our offset of 6 inches and specify if we want to enter the spacing or the number of instances. The feature will calculate the other for us. For this example, the spacing is important. Now, when we reduce the panel length, the number of instances change dynamically. And best of all, no errors. The other option with this feature is to enter the number of instances and let the software calculate proper spacing, including the offset from the reference. Both settings work great to save time and help avoid errors. Thanks for watching TPM's 3 Minute Thursday.